Hey guys, and welcome back to Countdown Vampire. Uh, or is it vampires? I forget. Right, so. After running around for a little while, I found this. I totally forgot about this. 256 on the playing cards. Now, I've actually written that down in my notes. I'm looking at it now on my tablet, but it doesn't really make a lot of sense on my tablet. I should have written it down better, but this is where we found the Kino card. Um, so, I think it might be okay to suggest that that means row two, five, and six. Uh, yeah, okay, we don't need to look at that again. At least I'm hoping that's what that, like that's got to be it, right? I mean, we've been everywhere else. We've literally been everywhere else. I don't think I've missed anything. Two, five, six. Let's see what that does. Because I've been running around here for a little while. Um, there are some areas that I've got a lot more enemies that have respawned. They're pretty much vampires. Um, in fact, it is only vampires that I've run into. Man, the respawning enemies in this game, like... See, when Resident Evil respawned enemies, it would respawn a few. You know, to mix things up a bit. This, like, re... Well, at least it, it feels like it respawns everything. And it's just, it's too many vampires, man. I mean, come on. There is only so much ammo. Unless you're meant to, I don't know, um, not get hit or, you know, tactically just take out the ones that you can. But the thing is, with the zombies and enemies and stuff like that in Resident Evil, that you can fairly easily get around them. But some of these vampires, man, oof, and there's so many of them. That's, that's a bit of an issue. It's not a huge problem, but it's frustrating. Uh, why can't we just use the ticket? Right. So. Let's try. Row. Oh, God. Um, do with my phone. Okay, sold the phone. I don't know what I did with that. Um, now, let's have a look. So, let's see if... Uh, go to file, and if we check out the memo. So... <sighs> Uh, so, uh, so if it's two, two would be one, two, three, four down. So, four, let's put row four, and then five will be row two. Um, the other one, six is row one, two. Five. Right, let's try that. Now, if this isn't correct, I'm just going to... I think I'm going to look it up. So I've wasted way too much time trying to figure this out. Uh, it makes sense. Uh, I guess. This game throws so many numbers at you. Uh, one. Right, so two. All down, apparently. One, two. That'd be 42. Uh, 5 is 2. be 25. Yeah. 25. 6. 6 is 5 down. 1, 2, 4, 5. Huh. Okay. Okay. I mean, I, I guess it makes sense. It, it had to have been that. God, this game. This game's puzzles are complete wank. 
absolute ass. So many numbers involved. I guess, you know, it's a casino, right? The locked locker. Is that all this gives? What's in here then? <sighs> this better be something amazing. At least I hope it's something amazing. Oh. Ah. They're the pieces to the clocks in the other room. Okay. Nine and a four. I can't remember what was on the clocks. Nine and a four. It wasn't, no, it was a ten and a three, I think, on the actual. Okay. How's that going to work then? Um, ah, shit. Where is it? Yeah, we need to go the other way. Like, right down that bloody corridor. God damn it. I hate these corridors. Okay, let's go back. Yeah, I, I, man. Resident Evil puzzles were fun. You know, they felt really well thought out. Oh, hello. Uh, what the fuck is that? An anus monster. Oh, Jesus Christ. The hell is that? It's like a Zerg. Oh, shit. We're actually, like, we're fighting a Zergling. Ah. Uh, shotgun, I guess? One. Oh, look at it. It's all Ghibli. Three. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, I guess the Zerglings aren't all they're made out to be, I suppose. Right, that was really anticlimactic, actually. But I guess that does indicate that we've made progress, so yay. That was weird. Oh, fucking hell. Good thing these things aren't... What the fuck is it shooting at me? Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Yeah. Reload. These weird purple anus monsters are everywhere now. Shit. Um... Let's use some of this. Are we even hitting it? I guess so. Is it moving? Oh, I mean, this works. Seems to be fairly... Like, if you... Oh, God. Yeah, if you can stay, like, a decent distance from these things, they're not that hard to avoid. Ah. The handgun is surprisingly effective. As long as you can keep out of the way. Uh, ooh. Right, let's go buy some shit. Now, do we really need another bottle? Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, let's go for a drink. Because they're always useful, I suppose. Um, you know, I guess whilst we're here, we'll buy it all. Why not, right? <laughs> That's as long as we don't get anything from uh, the, what do you call it? I got a feeling though, we're going to get the hands of the clock. Right, let's get the food as well. Why not? I suppose it's better to have it, but that does max out our inventory, which is not brilliant. Right, now is there any more of those purple things? No, they can't be. I don't know. I don't know what to think about those enemies. There is a better mix of enemies than I thought there was going to be. Okay, so 
What's that say? Three. Well, four maybe? So blue was three, four. I'm guessing that's what that means. Blue. Three. Four. Um, wait. Have we still got the... Oh, it doesn't use them up. Or is it because our inventory is full? Let's try that again. Hang on. Make... Yeah, let's make some space. Let's try that again. 3, 4. Maybe we've got it wrong. Let's try 3, 9. Okay, that's it. So it's not three four, it's three nine. Uh three. Yes, I suppose we shall have that. Right, that's actually used the item up as well. Good. Alright, well, you know, progress, progress. So now we have the hands of a clock. This is very resident evil. Almost to a fault, you know? And the red clock. Red. Oh, it's ten four. And yeah, okay. Now, how that actually translate? Translates? I don't know. Let's get out of here. So we finally, fine, finally have what we need. But we've got quite a way to go. Okay. Let's go back through Susie. I think this is the way to go. Yes. No, oh, we're free. At least we're free for now. They could drop some weird gribbly bastard on us at any point, I guess. It's strange how there's like just these random gambling machines everywhere as well. This place is safe. Oh, wasn't this area full? Yes, yes it was. Right, okay. Oh god, killed him. Really didn't want to kill him. Oh, get off me! Get the fuck off me. At least buy me a drink first, you know what I mean? All right. Fuck's sake. Oh, she's getting up. Nope, she's down. Come on, dude. Really? Man. Right, I want to check something. I saw a comment. So, three, uh, five, nine, nine, nine. I heard. Oh, God. She getting up again? Yeah. It's actually quite hard to hit those guys. Ah, uh, okay. We get money for healing people. Really? She's up again. Damn, woman. Oh, get off me. She's really enjoying a piece of my ass. Come on, love. Take your fucking medicine. Now, is she going to be as tough as the others? Kind of hope not. We're really injured. That did not go well. Right, so. We put a load over her. We only get three. But you do get money for saving these guys. But is that all you get? Yeah, you get three for saving each one. 
Kind of an odd number, if you ask me. Right, there's one down there. How many shots do we have left? Five, okay. Come on, dude. He's not dead. Right. Let's try and save him. I guess. But, I, you know, is there any real point in trying to save these people? Because it really does feel like they just come back. But, you know, it is what it is, I guess. I guess we'll find out. We're the good guy, after all, I suppose. Now, let's... Oh, we've got, like, no stun darts at all. Really is quite shit. You need so many of them. Why is it... Oh, no. Going back through the main lobby as well. There's loads of enemies in there. Oh, they're down here too. How many stun darts have we got? Three. Oh, that's rough. Okay. Oh, great. And we get hit straight away. Like, literally straight away. Oh, God. This is going to be rough. Right. We're going to save who we can. Which I guess is none of them. Fuck the rest. Innocent or not, you're going down. We're doing our best. What? They make no sound at all. See, Resident Evil worked with these camera angles because you could pretty much always tell when there's enemies around the corners. You could, you know, use your sound and hearing uh, to your advantage. This game, you know, there could be something running at you and you, you totally can't hear it whatsoever. That's bad game design. Right. Not going to lie, suck to kill them like that, but we do really have a whole load of choice. <laughs> game just... Oh, fucking hell. The game just fucks you. It's not realistic to just leave them. Where are you aiming? What the fuck? Where are you aiming at? Seriously, man. Oh, Jesus. Come on. Got him. Okay. Cool. So, not happy about shooting all those guys, but, you know, if the game's just straight up not going to give us what we need, then so be it, I guess. Uh, right, where are we going from here? Probably? I say you should probably save it. Which we can do by going up here. Let's give it a save. Oh, good. Really? Really? Ah, oh, fuck's sake, man. We're gonna be really weak. Yeah, we're really weak. Really weak. I guess this is why we get all the 9mm ammo. I don't know what he's aiming at. Apparently he's aiming at something. Him, apparently. Fuck's sake, these fucking vampires. It's got to be said, these vampires are really crap enemies. 
They're really terrible enemies. You can't really defend it. They're just shit. It's like trying to make a Resident Evil game um, and ignoring everything that made Resident Evil cool. It just doesn't have any of the polish. Even the first RE had. Okay. It's not a terrible game. I'm not going to say it is, but it's just very mediocre. And compared to, like, Resident Evil, it feels very amateur hour. Okay. Memory card one completed. I kind of like that animation. It's unnecessary. But it's interesting, I suppose. Interesting in its own way. Right. Uh, let's get some juice. Oh, I keep forgetting we've got the assault rifle as well. Not really sure what to do with that. We're actually... Yeah, I wouldn't say we're running out of bullets, but we're using them. Okay, so game saved. We're healed up. We're ready to go. Good, good, good. Alright, always run down that bloody little serving trap there. Really annoying. Yeah, I think I'm at the point now where I don't care about saving these vampires. I just, just shoot them. They're just anus. The game just straight up does not give you enough darts to subdue them all. And the way it just repopulates the enemies all the time is a bit silly. Like, it definitely, definitely takes it a little bit too far. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, these guys are definitely being repopulated. Definitely. Oh, come on, man. Fuck you. Jesus Christ. I'm going to be out of bullets pretty quick doing this. Fuck's sake, man. Oh, we're already injured again. Like, seriously? What are you doing? Get off me. Fucking knobhead. You don't really seem to be able to, de like, aim down and hit. I mean, you can do it, but it doesn't really work very well. Yeah, get royally fucked, mate. I actually care about saving you guys. Oh, and of course, why wouldn't there be another one around the corner? Why not, right? Why not? You know what? Fuck that guy. We're really injured. Oh, are you actually taking the fucking piss now? Look at this. You have the ammo for it. I mean, Jesus. Is that enough enemies? Yeah, Resident Evil went with the less is more kind of vibe. And Silent Hill kind of threw a few enemies at you, especially when you're outside. But when you was outside, you could easily evade them. There was no thought given to how you could, you know, evade the enemies in this. But then, you know... It's not fair to compare this to Resident Evil or Silent Hill. It's just, it's not on the level. Not even close. Okay. So, here we go. It looks like a clock, but it has no hands. Yeah, even the inventory. I mean, I like the inventory stuff in this. It's definitely better. 
Oh, right. The pa enter the password. It's not really password. So, that was 3 9. Oh. Wait. Oh, that was the blue clock. Yeah. You really have to put the hands back in. Really? Yeah. Like I said, this game came out... Um, yeah, this game came out... Best part of... Well, it was three years after... Resident Evil 1. Right. See, it says, enter another password. Like, well, that threw me off. Right, so, it's got to be 10 4. Then 4. Okay, if it's not 10 4, then it's 4 10. Either or game. You just. Fucking splitting hairs right now. Hairs that I don't care to be split. Let's try four. Ten. Wait. What? Incorrect? Well, I have this as 3-9. Incorrect. Uh... Please enter the password. Nine three. <sighs> right, how about I think what we've got to do here? I think they're actually correct, but we've got to move. So this is right. So that goes all the way around. But it doesn't move it enough. Password's incorrect. Because you can't set the... Can't set the little hand. Um... Yeah, that still does go all the way around. If I set that there, how are we going to get that to move enough? That's the question. We need to get that to move enough, I'm guessing. So, like, that will be a full rotation. But you just. Even with two full rotations, there isn't enough to move it. Hmm. Well, we're out of time. So, leave me to fiddle with this one off camera, and I'll uh, endeavor to work it out. One second, guys. Well, <laughs> see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.